welcome Jack O'Hara, game director at Infinity Ward. Joe, how are we feeling? Are we ready to party here? I mean, this is a, this is a lot. We need to know everything. Warzone 2.0, Stephanie, the world cannot wait. <laughs> it, it, it feels crazy for me to be up here revealing Warzone 2.0. I ended up at IW as a fan of the game, and so this moment is absolutely bananas for me. But Warzone 2.0 is everything that we loved about the original Warzone, right? Where it, it, it's based on the same experience that we all had, that that fun, the, all of those moments. And it's a, it's a return to I'm like saying a prayer right now. Watch across you know the that. universe for Modern Warfare 2. And that's going to create a really streamlined player experience. And um, I think the key innovations that we discussed for multiplayer, those all exist across Warzone 2.0 as well. So we're, we're bringing it back. It's all connected. It's the same world. And I think the players are going to love it. Oh, my good God. Real excited about this one. Uh, got, again, there's a lot in this one, Jack. Uh, where do we go from here? <laughs> so, MW2 and Warzone 2 have been developed side by side since the beginning, right? Since we started down this road, and they're part of the same universe. Oh, that little like badge is sick. They that share little the same mechanics, the same weaponry, and even That's fire. <laughs> but the centerpiece of all this, of course, is a new map that we've been working on since 2020 with teams across the globe. Oh, God. Um, it brings together our philosophies on map design. It brings Peace, together dude. new technologies in order to do Oh, my God, they're going to talk about DMZ here, too? Holy shit. And we've learned so much from players experiencing Verdansk and playing in Verdansk over the, the first few years of Warzone. And we're really excited them for them to land in Al Mazra with their squad. There's Al a wide variety of points of interest Al for players to explore in this map. And we're really looking forward to seeing everybody in there. Oh, here we go. A brand new map to explore and traverse. I cannot wait. Stephanie, let's take a look. That's right, Miles. Yeah. Warrior! Really interesting Airport, that better be terminal, bro. Expansive <laughs> desert settings with a mix of industrial areas, towns, a city, and of course, water. It looks way better on this screen than it did on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but you're going to find a lot of really cool elevation, rocky peaks, caves, subterranean spaces. Holy this shit. map is beautiful, and it's actually we the biggest we dropping, map boys? that we've ever made. And um, I am right. so excited for all of our streamers here to I'm jump into the right. Monster later today. It's huge. Look at the size of that thing. Uh, okay, so that was a big picture, and it's a great way to see it from a sort of top-down layout. But uh, let's take a better look at some of these points of interest. So when we set out to create these spaces, there's infrastructure in between all the different what we call points of interest along the map. And if you're paying attention, you might even see a few that seem pretty familiar out there as well. Um, and so as the team works through these, they're trying to find some variety on each uh, point of interest to make them, them something that the players will want to drop in and get the particularity of that single point of interest and find the place that they want to drop and where they want to play, whether it be a high elevation observatory at the center of the map, whether it be the Show me airport. That's, the top that's all I need to know. And whether they want to explore that or whether they want to work in some of our POIs where we have. Is that? Let's go! Let's fucking place. go, baby! <laughs> oh my god! And there's Fuck this terminal. High five me. High five me. Is that dome in there too? In there too? I missed dome? That's my favorite. Colloquially yeah. called Sunken Town. I mean, I love Oh to my swim, god. So you find me there. Absolutely. Um, I'm curious. What you guys think, Jack and Joe? Holy on shit, what the dude! Terminal, oh my today, god! Right? Oh my We've been god. talking about this the last couple I, of days. I'm getting this chills. Is our first time seeing. Oh my god! This is our moment, chat. This is our moment. Play Warzone 2.0, and so I'm just very curious where you think everyone's gonna immediately drop today. I I, I think some people are gonna drop to Observatory just to go go oh, back yeah. to home. You know. <laughs> <Yeah. back to laughs> They're it's, coming home. It's always nice. You're moving through the map, and you kind of hit a spot, and you're like, wait a second. I've been here before. I know this. This. That is sick. <laughs> you have all What's these flashbacks. <laughs> I think people will land around the <laughs> edge to this thing. As long I'll as see you at airport. I'm going to fucking <laughs> terminal, <laughs> baby. Oh, guys, well, the map looks absolutely gorgeous, and I can't wait to watch our streamers here uh, drop in early in an alpha build later on today. Okay, so moving on to the gameplay. Uh, we've got this beautiful space to play in. How do all of these multiplayer elements we've talked about a little bit earlier, how do they fit into Warzone? 2.0. I mean, the super simple answer is all the stuff we talked about in multiplayer, the stuff you saw in the multiplayer trailer, that's all in Warzone, right? It's all integrated. So that tactical camera works in Warzone. That decoy mine works in Warzone. Like, it's all that's been built from the ground up for both. The slide, the dive, the water. Like, Those water mechanics are going to be really swimming. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> oh. This is a great taste of some of the water combat. I can't wait to go full Captain Mill. You know, Apocalypse Now coming out of the water, knifing people. I mean, this just looks... 
Yeah, the rendering team made some work. So, so this is Warzone way. gameplay? Yeah. Wow. See the caustics on the bottom. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm not even sure what caustics are. I, <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea, but it sounds great and it looks incredible. <laughs> you can see the armored patrol boat coming by there with its two turrets. It's There's some cool stuff. So I'm glad you brought up vehicles. Uh, Steph, you touched on vehicles a little bit earlier. What can we talk about? Uh, you know, we've seen boats, we've seen tanks, we've seen all sorts of jack. What have we got? So we've implemented a new physics and handling model for the vehicles. So some vehicles are heavier, some will slide more, have more traction or less traction. And as you're driving them around and you're encountering them and other squads are playing with them, you can choose to shoot off the tires to kind of That's impact sick. the handling. That's a cool feature. You can have them, re they react to explosive differently based on their weight. So if you're in a heavy armored 4x4 and get hit by an RPG, it's going to kind of bounce a little bit, but not quite take the hit as a small sedan. Um, you can also choose with your squad to be rolling into a POI and somebody jumps out on the roof, somebody leans out the window, and suddenly you get yourself a lot of firepower driving into the POI. Of course, that vehicle needs to survive for quite some time in the map if you want to keep using it to go from point to point. Um, and vehicles will run out of gas, or at least most of them will, um, will run out of gas, and then uh, you can bring them to a gas station to fill them up. If your tire's been blown up, you can get out and repair it, or you can bring it to a gas station. It sounds station like they're making it more hardcore battle reality. We've got, which you know, water vehicles, we've got a small boat, we've got the boat that Joe mentioned with the turret with at the, the turret. front, turret at the back, so you can have that little moment cruising up the river with your whole squad ready to rumble. Um, so yeah, there is so much love that's gone into these you vehicles. Forgot the coolest vehicle. The coolest the, vehicle. The massive helicopter the that you can fly big, around. It's a big, big platform with three doors, and people play. You can move a whole squad through the map. What? What? Re wreak havoc. It is so cool. Oh my god. I mean, the fact that you can lean out of the window, you know, yep. grab your teammates, pile in a vehicle, actually, you know, do. Engage in yep. battle from the window, leaning out, shooting unless some, combat. Unless somebody blew off your door. That won't. Oh, that, that, <laughs> that does complicate that's things. That's so. PTSD from uh, Joe oh. killing me many times in our play tests. <laughs> well, I hope the uh, gas prices in our Mars are okay. I thought there's a lot going on in Warzone 2.0, and uh, my head is quite frankly spinning. Uh, what other massive changes um, have we got in store? Because it feels like there's a, there's so much has changed. Is it still the Gulag? Do we still have circles? Is it still gas? I know there are guns, but do we shoot them? What's happening? Well, what do you want to jump into first? Oh, Stephanie, no, you go ahead. We, go, we've go. made some pretty sweeping changes, I think, to the high-level components of, of Warzone 2.0 to continue providing players with both a dynamic and rewarding VR experience. But Warzone 2.0, you're going to hear it over and over again today. It's hey. about fun. This is about playing with your okay. friends, having fun, you I know, friends fun. new and old. Maybe you're making them a game. And I think one particular feature that I cannot wait to see streamers oh, is streaming your Yes. So it's coming. Anyone that comes near me is getting a mental warfare, bro. That's all they're going to experience. <laughs> but, um, Just in their head, bro. In can, their uh, head. Tell us a little bit more about looting. You know, in looting in uh, Warzone 2.0, we still have the humming crates. You know, you can still trap around and listen for those. We still have the loose loot on the ground, but we wanted to add a layer of learnability and and logic to our looting. Um, there are these hidden caches throughout, in between the POIs that are in ground, and you can memorize where they are because they're always there. So you can kind of start to develop these paths through the map of how you loot. And there's this logic applied to looting. You know, you can find toolboxes that'll have grenades and things in them. Um, what happened? And you What's find these other crates that are kind of like, it's as if the, the military that occupied the space came through and Whips. dropped off military items. Those crates are always there. So you can always have this reliable layer to loot. Incredible. This sounds really exciting. Oh, yours did? Through okay. Almazra and quite literally like have a, a route we planned, hit the gas, gas station, up, yeah. pick gas up up. yeah, pick up snacks, pick up ammo and all sorts. Okay, cool. So what about circle mechanics? I mean, this is obviously uh, a huge component of BR's joke. Yeah, I mean, the circle's been a staple of BRs. It's been really hard to move away from it. So we kind of talked about what could we do to mix things up with the circle. So we've got this new mechanic where the circle can actually split almost like a cell split into what? two, three, or what even four circles. Fuck? And then those circles kind of close down. <laughs> what it does is it segregates oh teams, God. and you have these micro battles uh. in those circles. And at a certain point, you're like, okay, we've cleared out our circle. We think we're good. And then those circles merge. They come back together. And you know, you have this very directed fight of, like, as the circle's moving, you're, like, gearing up in buildings. You're like, here we go. It's about to kick off. And as soon as those circles hit, you have that final fight. So it's another kind of, like, twist in the gameplay. That Whips, we're good. Cool Are you on the computer? What happened? Like, oh, the circle's splitting. We need to do X. Crazy. Get in the car. We're right. going now. <laughs> Go. All right. So, apart from that's going to be nuts. Uh, what about the gulag? Is that still around? I mean, there's so much change, man. I mean, Please I'm do. ready for it. But give me my home. 
The gulag, you know, we've been experimenting with. We've tried some crazy things with the gulag, <laughs> um, but the, the the current version of the gulag that we we have running right now, where we're excited people to play, is you're not in there alone. You actually what? have this temporary alliance with another opponent in the map, and you guys, you have to work together. And if you can defeat the other team, it's a two v two. And after that, you guys are enemies again. Let's go! I can but get carried in the moment, fucking like, goo, right, baby. We need each other. All right. Use the proximity chat to talk to each other. <laughs> and the other thing we've been playing around with is you may see a little bit of an AI presence in the gulag. So you kind of got to you say to me, you shit. You might be an AI here. You're picking up weapons. Um, we're excited for people to try it. And, and yeah, we're going to get feedback today, too. And, and like Joe said, we've we've been through some pretty wild iterations of the Gulag, which I will not reveal yeah. here, but uh, there's there's a lot in store. <laughs> yes, there certainly is a lot in store. Um, Jack, I have heard uh, of a new concept coming to Warzone 2.0 called Strongholds. That will include AI that may impact how players get their weapons, etc. Uh, uh, can you clue me into what that's all about and if it's even true? Absolutely. Um, so strongholds are reinforced buildings that the, uh, that the AI is occupying inside Al Masra in BR. And the players can choose whether or not they want to engage with them and assault them to get cool rewards, including free loadout items, which is one of the new ways that we're adding for players to get their hands on their best weaponry. Um, we've worked really hard to bring in AI into, at scale into Warzone 2, and you're going to encounter them in multiple modes in different way. In BR specifically, they're in these strongholds, and if you get to a stronghold, you can find the location of a black site, which is going to have even cooler stuff in it, and you can fight your way from one to the next. Um, but in other modes, you're going to find the AI occupying large portions of the map and just kind of protecting different POIs in different ways. Unreal. Okay, so we've all heard the rumors that Warzone 2.0 is going to have some very, very interesting new modes. Uh, would you care we're, to confirm okay. or so deny? Warzone is no. DMZ. It's finally time. <laughs> I have read about some new modes on the internet recently, <laughs> but one of the most exciting things about Warzone 2.0 is confirmation that an all new sandbox experience is coming at launch, I am happy to announce DMZ, Call of Duty's extraction mode, will arrive with Warzone 2.0 at launch later this year. I played DMZ for the very first time on my first day at I IW, to and to this day, playing it nonstop, the possibilities with this game mode blow my mind. So DMZ. I can also confirm that DMZ is real. <laughs> but we're not going to go into depth on it today, because we do have to keep some stuff in reserve. What I can tell you, though, is we've created a rich sandbox where you can define your own win condition. You infiltrate Al Masra, you accomplish your goals, and then you decide to extract when the time is right. It is played across the whole map, and the AI is occupying large sections of the map, and they are lethal opponents, and they do command your respect. You have to watch out for them. You have to work with your team. They patrol areas, they occupy strongholds, and they'll reinforce based on players' actions. And then in on top of all this, you can choose which mission you want to accomplish, or you can chase after a variety of, of activities in the world. And you can play this differently depending on your play style. You can go loud, like I always do. You can go quiet, or you can hunt other players or avoid them entirely. Or you could just decide, hey, I'm going to explore the secrets of Al Mazar and see what's there. Loot up, exfil. It's 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 totally up to player choice there. And, um, I'm I'm really excited I gotta, I gotta about the see full more on that scale chat. of what we're delivering for this chapter. And we want players to have an amazing experience in Warzone 2.0. We've been listening to the conversations in the community, specifically around small maps, ricochet, anti cheat, ranked play, and beyond. And Trust me, although we're touching on some of the core updates to the overall Warzone 2.0 experience today, and mostly focusing on VR, there will be more news to share over the coming months. This is only the beginning for Warzone 2.0. Okay, I need Warzone 2.0 and DMZ in my life ASAP. <laughs> Stephanie, when? Warzone 2.0 will be free to play for everyone on November 16th. Let's fucking go! Of season one of the Ross. Thank God! Oh my God! I did not want to have to wait till like next March. <laughs> After Modern Warfare 2 launches, um, and we had 125 million players in the original Warzone, and I cannot wait to see all of you and hopefully more of you in Almazra for this experience. And you will have a chance to see a Warzone 2 Battle Royale Alpha playtest happening right here behind us very, very soon. Yeah, the streamers are hot to trot. They're raring to go. Uh, we will see all of you in Al Mazar on November 16th.